If you're here watching this video, then chances are there's a part of you that's calling out to something bigger. Maybe something like, do you know what? I just want to be a better man. I just want to be a great man. Maybe I just want to be an extraordinary man. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 shifts that are really going to help you live a radically different life. Stay tuned. Okay, number one, which is taking 100% responsibility. What does this mean? Well, when we stay in victim and we stay in blame, honestly, we can grow to our highest potential. And so if you want to be a better man, a great man, an extraordinary man, what we need to do is start to ask this question. If I had to take 100% responsibility in this situation that maybe didn't go well, then how would things be different? When we do that and we make this shift and we go out of being a victim, things really start to move in a much more positive way. Number two, which is your ability to not just speak up and say what's really going on real time, but also to do that in a calm, confident way that doesn't shut others down because you're trying to win. It's normal for a lot of people, and this is actually a big shame, to want to raise their voice and shout to try and win a fight. We're not here to win. We're here to express ourselves fully for what we to believe to be true, but also understanding that there needs to be communication where you can look at things from a different perspective, which is the next one, which is looking at situations, not just from your vantage point, but what about someone else's point of view? What about a universal view? What about a third person's perspective? When we create the statement in our mind of I'm right, then that stops possibility to actually see something given someone else's worldview. Because when we understand that everyone's been brought up with different belief systems in a different environment, in a different culture, then we can actually start to relax and live a radically different life. When we're so focused on this is my way, the only way, this is what I've been taught, these are my rules, then actually that creates a lot of tension within the body and that actually doesn't feel good. The next one is about going and shifting from investing in ourselves instead of spending. So when we're spending, when we're in compulsion, when we're buying items and that's just a quick stimulant, then there's a big difference from when we're reading and we're educating ourselves and we're investing in mentors and programs so that we're becoming more aware and more aware as a person because self-awareness is truly the key to everything. And that leads me on to number five, which is never stop learning. Thankfully, you're watching this video and that tells me that you wanna grow. You want to invest your time and energy in growing, but that needs to be a never-ending journey. Because if we think that, well, when I learn this one thing and I'm just going to stop learning, that's not going into depth of learning. Because honestly, one doorway opens up going deep. So maybe I share something in this video and that creates an opening for you to go, do you know what? That's something I really want to learn and master. Because mastery is when we really start to grow exceptionally in all areas if we start to look into not just learning one thing, you know, for example, in business, learning just marketing. Well, what about if you learn sales and also different areas of marketing? Well, that means that you go deeper into learning about a business. And so when we do that in life, it actually helps business and career too. The next one is spending time in silence. What I know to be true, and I know to be true for myself, is that I was using so much external stimulant instead of closing my eyes and taking the time to be silent with myself, to allow those emotions to come up, to process things from my past, and to be able to actually spend time in contemplation and reflection. It takes mastery to actually close your eyes and spend time with your own thoughts, understanding that in doing that, you're gonna have insight. The next one is the shift from just getting physically fit, which we do, you know, and I did as I grew up, I just wanted to go into the gym and train my muscles, to committing to mental fitness and mental strength. You see, I became a personal trainer and I got in great physical shape and I actually built that as a career, but there was still a little boy inside that needed to be healed and that could only happen from me working on this. So when you match, yes, having a, a great, 
physical body with the sharpness of mind, that gives you a whole new edge. The next one, which is absolutely critical, which is having a high level of integrity. What does this mean? It means being honest. It means not lying. Understanding that when you lie, you take yourself out of alignment with yourself. Also, recognizing that we just need to be kind and we need to stick to the things that we say that we're going to do. How can we expect someone else to do that if we can't create a statement in our own mind and say that we're going to do something but then not follow through? And understand, I'm not perfect with this, but over time, as I've developed this muscle and I've developed the skill of integrity, which also comes from your value shifts, then you end up just becoming a much better person and more people want to spend time with you. The next one is spending time with the right types of people. You know right now whether you're spending time with those people who are toxic or an environment that's not aligned with where you want to go. I spent a lot of time in my life around substances and you know, different people that weren't aligned with actually where I wanted to be in my life. And so deciding and making the decision to actually cut yourself away from those people is incredibly important. But sometimes we fear it, right? Well, what happens is maybe I'm going to you know, not make any new friends or whatever stories we create in that situation. It's important to recognize those things. The next one is to be vulnerable. What I mean by that is, is that let's give a situation where maybe you've had a fight with a partner or a friend or a family member. There's a calling within you that maybe just that doesn't feel right and it's wrong. But what happens is we get stubborn and we don't want to say the words like, hey, I'm sorry. And the reason why I said that was because I was scared or I was fearful or whatever that truth was. Understanding that expressing yourself in that way is not weakness and it is real power. Now, the reason why we might not do that is that we fear the other person's response. So understand that the direct link between who you're around and that vulnerability is absolutely key. Because I know that the people I spend my time with, I can be open and I can be vulnerable. In fact, I was in a conversation today with someone and we had a call together and I noticed that I was triggered. And I left that conversation and about 10 minutes later, I messaged this other person, it was a friend of mine, and I said, hey, I noticed I was triggered, and just so you know, there was nothing about you, and it's something for me to deal with. I don't see that as weakness. I see that as pure strength, and also it created a stronger bond between me and that other person. Vulnerability is not weakness. It's pure divine masculine power. So, Hopefully, you can take something from these 10 tips. Please post into the comments below which one of these resonated with you most, which one has stuck with you, and which one are you going to dive deeper into. Also, please hit the subscribe button and also that little bell so that you can get regular updates. And please implement the things that I'm teaching you because I want you to grow, to grow rather to your highest potential. I'll see you very soon. Take it easy.